Welcome to the light end review for the Fantasia Gemini ceiling fan. Now the Gemini fan is a 42 inch ceiling fan which is a mid range size for a ceiling fan and it fits flush to a ceiling which makes it perfect for bedrooms and rooms with not a lot of height. The box measures 49 by 29 by 32 centimetres in case you want to ship it abroad and it weighs about 7 kilograms with all the packaging. Now the Gemini currently comes in one colour which is pewter which is a good metal dark metal kind of colour which is very popular at the moment and also comes complete with black blades. As you'd expect being a Fantasia fan it has a 10 year motor manufacturer's warranty and when fitted to the ceiling it weighs about 6.5 kilograms which makes it a lightweight ceiling fan. It's perfect for bedrooms and rooms with limited height because from ceiling to blades is only 19 centimetres. Ceiling to the lowest point, which is the bottom of the light version, is 35 centimetres and it comes available with and without light. On high speed, it consumes 58 watts of power and when running in high speed, it will move approximately 4,700 cubic feet of air. So what we'll do, we'll open it up, we'll have a little look at it and pull out all the bits for you. As with all Fantasia ceiling fans, snip open the box with a sharp knife, mind your fingers of course. And when you open the top, just be careful because the blades are under the central tape that you cut. You don't want to nick them with the blade. First thing you'll find, a set of instructions, as you would expect, which are always stellar by Fantasia. We do digital copies of those which are available on our Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash light at home. Warranty card for your 10 year motor manufacturer's warranty. We can register your fan for you on our Facebook page, if you visit that for us. Blade carriers. Now there are five of these, because the Gemini is a five bladed fan for maximum air movement. And these ones are finished in the pewter color of the actual fan itself. They attach around the motor and the blades attached to the blade carriers. Pack of blades. These are black blades, as is the pewter version. And there is a stripper card here just in case you do nick with the knife when opening the box, that pretends to protect the blades. They're always shrink wrapped to keep them nice and clean. And the screw pack. The screw pack contains fixings to the ceiling, all the nuts and bolts you'd expect, and the pull cords for both the fan and the light. You remove the top tray underneath. First thing, pull. Oh. Now, you get three 50 watt halogen GU10s complete with this particular version of the Gemini. Obviously they're halogen. You can put LEDs in if you want to. If you're gonna use the pull cords, as is standard with this fan, then you're fine to put an LED version of the GU10 in. If you're gonna buy a remote control or you can use a dimmer switch, a particular actual dimmer switch for the fan, then you can use LED as long as they're dimmable and as long as they're high quality. Recommended balls by Fantasia, if possible. In the bottom of the box, we have the light kit. Now the Gemini comes with a spotlight. If I remove it from the packaging, like that. You can have a little closer look at it. There we go. That's the light kit. It has fully adjustable heads, so you can angle the spotlights wherever you want. Balls fit in like normal. And there's a pull cord at the bottom that would simply bring on the light on and off. You also have the two colour coded cables because you fit this to the fan when you fit in the fan. It's plug and play, colour coded, very easy. And the main part in the box is the motor housing. If I pop that there like that and remove it on its back. There we go. Now the German one has an attractive cage design to make it contemporary. And you can see in its gunmetal finish there, which is very popular. As I mentioned, there's a pull cord, which would operate the three speeds of the fan. And the light and the fan work independently from each other. So you can have either on or off at the same time. It doesn't matter. You can have the light on without the fan working, fan on without the light working. The actual light kit is attached to the bottom of the fan there. There are full instructions to show you how to do that. It's very simple. And if we look on the side, there is a reversing switch that you can flick during the autumn and winter. That will allow trapped air, hot air at ceiling level from your central heating to be recirculated once the fan's in reverse mode. As I mentioned, it's a flush fitting fan, so you can see the fixing bracket there, allows direct attachment to the ceiling. 
Now, you don't have to have it flush if you don't want to. You can buy a drop rod for it to bring it down a little bit. There are matching pewter drop rods. It requires a 22 millimeter drop rod. And as like some other models, like the Capri and the Mayfair, Gemini needs a conversion kit. So if you're gonna fit a drop rod to it, also buy a conversion kit. Buy them both in the pewter finish. They will match the fan exactly. As mentioned, it's a pull cord operated fan, but you can fit a remote if you want to buy one as an accessory. You would fit the receiver unit in the top of the fan. We have a separate video to explain this on our YouTube channel. But you can fit it into the top of the fan and use the handset to control the actual fan itself. It won't operate the reverse, but it will operate the three speeds, forwards, slow, medium, high, and will also operate the light as well. So that's the Fantasia Gemini fan. It's a quality unit. It's not the same kind of product you'll buy at a DIY store or a catalogue store, they will be cheap. This is designed to last. It's perfect for bedrooms and places like that. So I hope this video has been useful. If it has, then please like it for us. Thank you.